Hello and welcome back to Ube Laron. It has been a while. It's felt like ages. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone that has joined the channel in the uh, this short time that I have uh, been away with uh, computer issues. So uh, thank you all very much. Massive, massively appreciated. Um, hopefully we'll be able to go uh, trouble free for a while now and uh, get some work done here now there have been a few changes since we were last here uh, I've just been and picked this up we already owned this I just thought I'd bring it back to the uh, to the plot while we were on our way back down here so I have taken a little bit of time and I've set up my wheel, the side tech panel and the uh, gear shifter. I'm still in the process of getting used to using it um, but we'll get there. So that might make this series a little bit more entertaining um, as I try and uh, get that sorted out. Now what I want to do is hook up to my cultivator because we have just planted wheat in our single field that we own. That's all we've got, one one wheat field, which is uh, over to our right over there. Now it does require another um, seeding, and not seeding, another fertilization. Um, if we uh, just bring that up, we can have a look. We're down here, field 38. Now I do, I believe I said I wasn't going to do it because it's stripy but it looks about 50 50 to me on uh, what is fertilized twice and what isn't so when we get another growth state we're going to come back over that with a fertilizer we've got a sprayer and we've got some liquid fertilizer down here and i think we've still got some liquid fertilizer up at the store but while we're waiting for that i think we're going to take on a few contracts trying to earn a little bit of money not a lot they don't seem to be paying out very well at all um so we're going to take on these two little cultivating jobs as well. I've stuck the cultivator on the back. So we're going to take on uh, field 23. And we're going to take on field 34. And we'll do both of them with our own equipment. The Amazon uh, that we've got is pretty much what we would have been offered anyway. Now I think field 34 is down this way. So uh, I'll head down there and find that. So let's see if we can find the entrance to our field from this side. And that's us over here. Now in having the uh, the rig set up. I'm going to try and do as much of this as I can in Gab. That way it feels a little bit more natural in using um, the setup. I guess we just hop it across the land here because I've not found a dirt track and we're going to go through the bush. I'm sure they won't mind. I probably just weren't looking. So yeah, we're going to be... Uh, doing a fair old bit of in cab. If people don't like that, please say in the comments and uh, you know we'll mix up a little bit more than I, I probably would intend to start with. Let's just check that that's down properly. That is indeed. Because I want to get better at doing in cab first person uh, in FS22. Um, I've uh, always sort of jumped in between doing different things um, from 19 to 22. But now that I've got the space to have everything set up properly, I'd like to do it properly. Or as uh, best I can anyway. I'm sure there will be uh, things that I still do wrong. I'm just going to... I know it's a square field, but I'm just going to do a little headland just so we can uh, give ourselves a little bit more turning room at the end. 
I don't like driving through the bushes and uh, going off into the road when we do things. Um, for a little while as well, I will be uh, keeping the help bar at the top. The help bar. <laughs> like a health bar. No, I'm going to be keeping the uh, info bar at the top. Uh, just because my controls are going to be flickering from um, keyboard to side panel to controller. Not controller, but to wheel. And I'm going to need that. Just, just so I can remember where everything is. Because I've spent today trying to set up the, uh, the wheel and the side panel for FS22, but also trying to set it up completely different for um, Euro Truck. So I've got two new sets of controls to try and learn, which is going to be fun, no doubt. With our headland complete, we'll see if we can find a little rhythm to uh, work across the field. Uh, east to west. Now I did get a comment um, on a video while I was in downtime asking me to do or to mix in uh, a little sorry I have to keep looking away uh, to mix in um, some time lapses so I've got to give me brain in gear um, yeah, I was trying to stay away from time lapses with the series. Uh, I know maybe the the process of doing it this way, especially if I want to do it a more realistic way, um, might be a bit slower, and to some maybe a bit more boring. But I but I do plan on doing um, time lapse series on their own, and that's why I was trying to stay away from mixing it in uh, with other series. But I will try, probably not in this episode because I'm going to be, you know, chatting a bit. I've been away for a while. But I will try and sort of time my commentary a little bit better so that we can have uh, better place time cuts. Um, maybe without me chatting all the way through trips to places. So then when we get to do a job, there's maybe less to say. So we'll try and just sort of start the journey, arrive, and then we can talk through the job. I think that might be a better way of doing it. Just trying to learn my distances. Trying to refrain from uh, popping out a cab to check is the big thing. That cap on my left was uh, an intentional leave. Um, we might find that I'm going to adopt a different style of, way I, of the way I work the fields as well. Um, I've often done a couple of uh, back and forth and then done a l rather large turn and circle and then worked within or up and down around the turn and circle. Whereas I might find it easier doing it this way if I uh, awkwardly start in the middle of the field and then uh, work my my way out around to the edges. But just so you can see, although just because I show you now doesn't mean I'm always doing it, but I'm always lifting the, uh, the cultivator at the end. I mean, you should be able to see it in the mirrors. Let's see on this pass if it does show in the mirror. Yep, see, it goes down. So you can see that I'm not just driving around, dragging a cultivator. I mean, there's always the chance that I'll uh, engage <laughs> a cultivator field creation, start digging up everyone's turf. So that's not something I want to be doing. Now, over the few hours that I have been um, trying to get used to using the wheel, and what have you throughout the day. It's been sort of a bit here and there with the boy as well. Uh, I've noticed sometimes I boot into the game and it recognises uh, force feedback, it recognises the centre spring and it recognises that I've got my wheel set 
to only 360 degrees of turning uh, because as well as doing the farming and the truck I also like to play racing games a lot of Formula One and it, it's much much better uh, to do that with a 360 degree wheel rather than 900 degrees of turn because you just spin them forever so sometimes you might hear me spinning my wheel like crazy to turn and other times I'm hoping you won't hear it at all I'll know when I listen back to this as the first recorded as to whether or not the wheel is noisy I've tried to program as many of the controls as I can um, that I use regularly to the side panel um, just so that you don't hear the clicking and the clunking um, if I just I'm sure that get picked up um, but that's what would have been the equivalent of my uh, right button left button on the controller which you use to uh, trigger a lot of the controls so I've tried to deter from that. I haven't even got them set as indicators because there's such a loud clink. Although I do have indicators on. They're on a they're on my D-pad. You may have noticed that in an attempt to uh, try and uh, move things along a little bit with the series uh, because I do feel like we're also playing a little bit of catch up with other channels now of being down for two weeks that's like 14 episodes I would have done or at least 10 um, so time is sped up to uh, times 10 for now um, and especially since at the minute it's mainly going to be contract work so I'm guessing it's going to be a lot of cultivating spraying that sort of thing um, so we don't have too many videos where we're just doing the same thing now beforehand I wasn't really watching much of other people's content but in the two weeks that I've not been making my own obviously I have watched a few people's and I've caught up with some of the the bigger channels as well and I did notice that to, to alleviate some of the repetitiveness people are say skipping through the quieter months when there's not a lot to do especially at the beginning uh, once you've got a bigger farm and a bit more equipment whoop, double bump that once you've got a, a bit more equipment and more to do on your farm obviously there's a lot more to do in the winter months or in between harvests and resetting the fields and getting things going I don't know what's going on there, we keep getting a bit of stuttering. Um, so yeah, I may do that as well. I may be a bit of a sheep, I might follow suit. Uh, because I don't want to just keep churning out uh, video after video of me cultivating and spraying. Um, when I did the FS22 experiment on Stone Valley, that was sort of one of my big... Oh, I think we just got some traffic there. Yeah, let's let him go. That was sort of one of the downsides um, of doing the short seasons and not having a lot to do. I think before when I've done seasons, it was always for myself, so I would skip along certain days and things like that. And when I did the experiment, I didn't want to do that. But we ended up doing it just because there was nothing to do. We had days where it was completely rained off, completely snowed off, ground was soil, and there was just nothing. And I don't want to make them videos again. So uh, I think we will. If there are days later on, then uh, we shall have a look. Sorry, just got a pop up on my screen then. That was weird. Made me lose a trail of thought. Yeah, so if we do have these things happen and it does start to get a little bit boring, we will move along time. But that is our first little job done. I think this one was uh, about 700 pounds or euros, and the other one I think was around about five, 550. So we're only going to get a grand for these two jobs. 
but the grand's a grand at the minute. What I may well do let's just finish this off. Just check that he's happy with the job. Okay, we'll head on up to field 23. I haven't collected the payment on that yet. We'll do that at the end once all the jobs are done. We're going to head across the map to field 23. I may uh, jump out of game and back in again to see what that pop-up was all about. That might have been why I was getting the stutter in there. Something was happening. So the field we want is just around here on our right. Field number 23. It's just this one here. Sort of swung that in a bit, a bit weird. There we go. Right, so we'll uh, do the same again. I'll uh, do a looped headland around the field uh, so we don't have to keep driving off. I might do a double one at the bottom there if there's a road. And uh, we'll do our magic here. <laughs> so, it turns out I did exactly what I said I didn't want to do or the reason for why I make sure I lift the cultivator every time is uh, yeah where I've mapped <laughs> where I've mapped the uh, the controls obviously I've not obviously but I've put the uh, the empty um, baler and things like that all on one particular button and that same control when you've got the cultivator on is create fields and I caught that with my wrist and at the top and the bottom of this field that I just did for this chat, that I'm doing for this chat, I've <laughs> hacked out his, uh, his grass. Uh, once we're finished, if it'll let me, I might, I might put the grass back for him. We'll see. Might leave it as it is. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Yeah, there's going to be, there's going to be a few teething issues, that's for sure. But we'll get there. Like I said, it might make things a little more interesting for a while. While I get used to it. But before we came up to this field, I was saying... Um, yeah, what I might do um, is, even if I don't necessarily show the days, I might still play that day and do at least one contract um, just so it's not a, a dead money day because we do have a £200,000 loan and uh, we have to pay that back every day and if we do um, three or four days without an income especially early on that's going to eat away I think we're paying out if I remember rightly uh, someone questioned me about it before um, I think it's about 650, somewhere between 650 and 800 pounds um, every night or every month, I'm not sure. It might be every night. So then to make it nearly two, one and a half, yeah, yeah, one and a half for the month because it's uh, running two day months. So uh, yeah, we, I, I need to make sure I've got some sort of income coming in. so that uh, we're just not running out of cash. And then that's something I can do maybe during the day when i got my little boy with me. He can uh, drive the tractor, cultivate a field. And then in the evening 
we'll do the next day with something else a little bit more going on. That's what I'm thinking. Because although I'm set up in a separate room, I'm still going to be doing a lot of what I do at night, as I was before in the previous house, before we moved. Uh, because I still have to look after my son during the day, my partner's at work. So it's still going to be a lot of nighttime recordings. Um, there just might be a little bit more leeway um, with things like my partner's days off or stuff like that. When, uh, when I can get a little extra done or maybe have a live stream. Especially with the new setup. Um, I'm definitely thinking about a camera now with my ugly mug. Although I'm not into this in in this for the uh, for the beauty awards, I'm not looking for hot YouTuber 2022. See now, once I get a little bit of a rhythm going, it's not too bad. It's like real tractor, I'm sure. But hopefully, um, having the wheel and things set up, that makes it a little bit smoother as well to watch. Because I know uh, with the controller, you get a lot of sort of flickering of the wheel all the time trying to correct. Uh, whereas with the wheel, it's just much smoother, much easier to manage. Someone did comment um, that while using the controller, you should get some thumbstick extenders or something like that. Um, I do have some, but I'd never really used them. I think they're in a bag somewhere in a box. Uh, but I did say to them, you know, thanks for the uh, thanks for the tip, thanks for the advice. Um, I might look into that, and also uh, that I would be looking to go to the wheel uh, setup once everything was back and running and doing. So hopefully the smoothness of that helps. The only thing that I'm not great at is uh, using the uh, the mouse to look. It's like it's never in the right position for me. So I grab it and we have a little fit as the screen shakes around. So I, I have got it so that look is on the uh, the SciTech joystick, but that is a very slow look. So uh, we'll see how we get on. In time, I might get better with the mouse. Yeah, we'll take that. It's not bad. It's not the worst. I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like I've got a bit of a ribbon going now. Found a better distance for uh, a smoother, faster turn and circle. Like I say, no, this isn't. I, I often say, oh, I want to do it more realistic. I want to do it more realistic. I, I get that this isn't a realistic way of cultivating a field and that you should, you know, up and down, turn around. But we also have to think about time restraints and things like that. You know, like I said, I do feel like I'm playing a bit of catch up. It's just a bit of a shame because I felt like things, you know, it was only five days, but I felt like things were really picking up with the arrival of FS22. So uh, hopefully we can we can keep that gravy train a going, milk it for what it's worth. I tell you what, guys, it is fun to be back and it's fun to be doing it with the wheel. Now I'd used the wheel before. Obviously I've had it for a while. Oh, got a bit of rain coming. Oh, just wait a minute. Hopefully you guys can hear that. The sound of the rain hitting the tractor. 
I think it's absolutely awesome. The sounds in this game now are so much better. So much better. Listen to it. Awesome. Yeah, sounds are so much better. Um, I was uh, I jumped on a map on console with uh, FS Landscape and the other day, and uh, we were just chatting about the game and his map that he's got working on and stuff. And um, yeah, we were just, just as I was coming in and out of his sheds, the the different sound the engine gives off uh, when you're inside a building to when you're outside of a building, the get that echo and that tinny sound to it, much like my my mic, that echoey tinny sound. Couple of couple more Parsons. Hello Mr. Parsons. Yeah, a couple more Parsings. And uh be another job done for us. And setting it to uh, a ten times speed, start the day around about eight o'clock. Two sort of contracts this size. Sort of brings us through the day anyway. So it's not like there's a massive amount of money for me to earn in between days, should I um, you know, not show the quiet days. It's not like I'm going to suddenly come back and there's 20, 30 grand in the bank because I've been going crazy on contracts. Uh, because it's just not there. The money's just not there. You really have to work to make some money in this game. Which I know has not been to everyone's pleasing. But I like it. That rain is a coming down, boy. Get our light on. Now I'm sure it's probably already popped up that the job's complete, but I like to complete the field work. Uh, something. Oh, there it is contract's complete. Um, something that I'm going to try and do as well is I'm going to try and work through some of the mods that I've missed because I wanted to try and do mod reviews and going forward I'm going to try and do that. Um, my only issue is that I'm not always going to be able to do it it's like as quick as some of the other guys. Obviously because of family and things like that I can't just jump on at three in the afternoon and start making videos. of. have uh, Got a little man that's hopefully getting up from his nap and needing an attendant to and what have you. So they will be later on in the evening or maybe even later on in the week. But I'm going to try and do more mod reviews. Uh, I've already got a few installed and lined up. They may even come out before this episode comes out because they're going to render and do a lot quicker. So yeah, I might do some of them. Uh, it's, it sounds a bit cheeky, but... I'll probably do more of the mods that I like to use rather than every mod that becomes available just because that seems uh, more feasible for me at the minute once I get a bit more of a groove going um, with doing mods and such then uh, and yeah then I'll probably cover them a bit quicker whoa wrong side of the road I forget we're in Germany or France, wherever we are. I forget where we are at all. Ube Laurent, we're in France. There you go. Got me, uh, got me beacons on. Should get a little flash off that building, maybe, if I turn my head. So if we get. So we're just pulling up to our plot, up on our left hand side, one day we'll get a house for it. Um, I did see there was a new house um, mod in the mod hub, but it was big and it was expensive. I, I'm waiting for a trailer or something, just one old caravan, we stick up in a corner. Or a really cheap shack. Now I did see that Alien Jim is working on um, No Man's Land, which is absolutely great. 
love me some No Man's Land. Unfortunately, <laughs> I must admit, I don't love me the uh, the landscape and tool in this. If there was uh, one thing that I'd say that I don't really enjoy at the minute, that is the landscaping. Okay, so I don't know why I got out in the rain to uh, collect my payment, but we did. So it's for the field 23, 706 euros. And for field 34, we got 540. And that will be it for our return video, our return to Ube La Ronde after it's easily two weeks, 16 days. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's something a little bit different. It's the way I wanted to go with the channel since I started. That's what I wanted to do, just couldn't do it. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll try and mix up and work in feedback. If you guys give me feedback, I know what to do, where I can improve, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. So if you've enjoyed it, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn your bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. Comments and feedback down below. Thank you ever so much for watching. You are so greatly appreciated. Hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.